Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install the graphic card on PC like a professional through the Random Knowledge Plus. Now let's unbox the Zotac ZT710. And this box contains a quick installation guide. A CD with a label. Okay, let's put aside. And this is a graphics card package. And these are the clips or something that we can install in a compact CPU. And if you don't have a compact one, these are unnecessary for you. So even I don't have a compact PC, so I would keep them aside now this is a graphics card package and let's open it I think it just has a graphic card and nothing more only a graphic card you can see that so tech graphics card of 2 GB memory and now do like I show you remove your graphics driver from PC and then install the graphics card now go to PC right click manage device manager display editors and that's it you have to uninstall that driver and you will see like 256 MB in DXDiag. Now let's click the run command and type DXDiag and then press enter. On the display tab you can see that it has a 1664 MB uh, and after you uninstall the driver it will be going to like 256 MB so wait for that. Okay it's done and now you can see one command dx tab and on the display tab now it's like 256 MB right so this is the first step when you have to install the graphic card and now open the cabinet of your computer now you remove the screws Now this is the motherboard in the cabinet and this blue one is the graphics card slot. Make sure that it fits in the graphics card slot. After inserting the card in the slot, just make sure that the clip is blocked. And this should be like this. After you insert the card, in the motherboard slot I mean the graphics card slot on the motherboard so now fit a screw on that 
graphics card clip make sure it's tight Now the graphics card is inserted in the graphics slot of motherboard and there is no graphics driver in that so we should have to go install it from the Zotac website the official one. And now we should have to download the graphics card driver from that and install it on PC so this is the official one. Let's go to that website and download it. And now we have downloaded the graphics card drivers and now let's go ahead and install that and see the difference. I am running the 64 bit operating system so we should have to install the graphics cards driver of 64 bit graphics card. So let's install the 64 bit graphics driver on the PC. But first, take a look at the DX Diag so that you can understand there is no graphics card but only NVIDIA without the graphics card drivers so it will be like 256 MB
I think the graphics cards are updated now so let's see it's like now 4 point something MB there might be 4 GB graphics but I have inserted 2 GB graphics card but it shows 4 GB so that's a good thing now the graphics card installation is done I mean the graphics card drivers installation is done and we should have to delete that temporary files from the C drive because it takes a lot of space like 1 GB so it's a temporary thing so you should have to remove that now I'm showing you how to update your BIOS because my computer takes a lot of time to turn on and turn off whatever it is to restore the computer it takes a lot of time like 15 minutes so I would recommend you to update your BIOS I'm gonna show you how to update your BIOS on your personal computer but first you should have to install the BIOS software from the Gigabyte website and open the Gigabyte BIOS software from your PC we will have at the right BIOS so download it from the description and uh, you should have to save the file first of all I mean the BIOS file because if anything gets wrong or if you want to downgrade from the versions that you have upgraded to so you should have to save it or you can also download it from the website so there's not a big deal and now I will try to update BIOS from the servers but none of these servers work at all And this is the website that we use for downloading or to download the BIOS update software. I mean, updated software, or you can also download the BIOS and its software from this website. So go ahead and download. Uh, I would like to update to F9, so don't bother if I do not update to F10 because. My graphic card is kind of slow when using F10 beta. I have downgraded to F9. There's no problem with that. And I have already downloaded, so this is showing you have know, already downloaded, so I'll just cancel that. So this is the downloaded file. I mean the extracted file from the download you can see two exe files but they are also not working so I should have to update it with the BIOS software which was given by the Gigabyte website so I should have to go with it Now I have downloaded the F9 file for BIOS, I mean the BIOS version F9 and these are the extracted files and you can see that this will not work so I just have to cut them and put it in a folder so that I can easily use them. Now open the software which was downloaded from the website and run as administrator and press OK. Now you can see load BIOS and select the BIOS which you have downloaded or put in a folder and double click or open.
and it will ask the dialog box I mean, the dialog box which will appear and press ok and the writing will be done and sometimes the computer will be slow or something like that don't panic or do something like that and leave it alone after the process completes it will ask for a restart later or restart now so definitely go for the restart now option but this is taking a little while and we should have to wait for that to complete Now press restart now. I'm going to open the software again so that you can see what was done to our PC right now after the update. So this is the version F9 which was successfully upgraded. So I just want to show you how to upgrade a BIOS because my graphic card is making my PC a very slow one it is turning on very slow like it takes like 5 to 10 minutes so thanks for watching